funny. I'm not laughing. Why are you laughing? It's a prank. <laughs> Lights on and off on her phone. This? Yeah. <laughs> I literally thought there was like a yeah. I was like, I know. Were Carly, you not in on it? Wait, no, like Carly not at like, first. But then I was like, oh, I knew she. I know she has an app for it. So I, like, <laughs> I rolled off the fucking bed. I, I rolled from so edge of the bed to the other. I'm screaming my head off. Zane, okay, they don't know what's happening. I didn't get any of this on. They just pranked the actual fuck out of me. Can you show them what they, you were doing? Look what we did to this room. She has this app that turns the lights on and off. We just watched the Blair Witch Project. <laughs> These lights flicker, the I scream, I fall onto the floor, Zane is losing his shit, he goes, if there's a ghost in here, turn the lights on, the lights turn on, I scream my head off, you fucking assholes. How many times, I kept saying, is this a prank, Zane was like, no, I swear to God, and I was like, they had no time to organize this, there's no way this is a prank, my limbs are numb. <laughs> Apartment and she came in like running because she heard us all screaming. She literally came in hot with her phone. She's like, what's happening? Like trying to get the camera open. And I was like, the lights keep going on and off. <laughs> I can't. That's her wink. My tummy hurts from screaming so much. In my defense, we just got back from the Blair Witch. Yeah, we would have acted that way no matter where we were. Okay, Carly, you're right. <laughs> there are sirens coming closer and closer. I think they heard the screaming and they knew the Blair Witch was here. Hello, internet. I'm going on yet another date. I haven't even washed my hair from the last two dates, but I'm on a roll. I must say, Big Mama's on a roll. I feel like boys always come in seasons. Like sometimes I have so many guys talking to me and then sometimes I go very, very, very long without guys talking to me. And I literally did nothing all day except edit. So this is the first eventful thing happening of the day. That's the first time I'm telling you about it. I'll let you know how it goes. Oh, and I should mention, I met him in real life, in person, and not on a dating app. Real thing that's happening right now, I was downstairs and now I'm back upstairs because I'm going to change my shoes because I'm wearing heels and I just realized, I don't know how tall he is. Even though I met him in real life, there was no point where we were both standing. I was pretty much sitting the whole time and he was standing when he approached me. If it was a dating app, I could get on and sometimes it says their height. And I could be like, oh, he's 5'9", I'm 5'6", maybe I shouldn't wear four inch heels. But I can't do that, so taking off my shoes and uh, finding something more suitable. <laughs> Ready to go in my $15 sandals. Hi friends, remember a week ago when I split my toe open and I should have gotten stitches, but I didn't, and then I was like, oh, I'm being dramatic, typical Gab, just being dramatic. Um, well, here's a fun fact. It hurts way worse the second time, and it bleeds a lot more. I can't walk anywhere because I have a lot of carpeting, so I'm just kind of standing here waiting for the bleeding to stop. It's bleeding a lot. <laughs> this is what I'm working with. I don't really know what to do about it. Um, damn, pretty shitty, actually. <laughs> It matches my nail polish, actually. My shit's haunted. These lights right here just flickered on. Now, I know that lights sometimes flicker off and people are like, ugh, the lights just flickered. For a light to flicker on, what type of electrical ass ghost surge is that? If they're on, they flicker off. It's like, oh, something happened. Like there was a little disruption in the wire. For them to flicker, on that's ghost in other news this is how i spent my day yesterday i'm gonna do a full tour soon maybe probably not but i just got all this stuff up and this stuff and starting over in this corner but it's not even close to that i don't know what's going on in there cleaned my bathroom got all the stuff i'm gonna donate put together um cleaned my living room and my office is still a mess those are all pillows this box is from a bunch of fan mail and i have to crush them all in order to put them in the recycling downstairs so they've just been sitting there for like a month because i don't want to crush them <laughs> it just takes so long sometimes you get like 
dry fingers. <laughs> so yeah, my apartment is clean as balls right now. I remember last week, exactly a week ago, well, in vlog time, I don't know what that is, probably like a year ago, I sliced my toe open and I went to a Zumba class and I was being really dramatic about it. So it's a week later and it's still not healed. In fact, it's really gross. And I actually split it open again. And this time it's infected. That was last night while I was doing all this jazz and I'm still gonna go to my Zumba class. It's like deja vu, deja vu. Also, I'm so pissed. I bought new sneakers. I love Asics, hashtag not sponsored, but it's so hard to not find only them, but to find the right pair. My biggest problem with Asics is they have 9,000 models of shoe, so they're really hard to buy online because I'm gonna be late to this damn class because I'm talking about sneakers. Really, Gab? The first pair that I ever bought that I fell in love with looked a little like this. They had something written on the toe, Oh, they had duo max written on them. So when I found these I was like yay perfect bought these not the same shoe at all I've worn them like twice. They give me blisters. They hurt. So I searched for another year I'm not even exaggerating. So then I find these ones which were pretty good But they're completely worn down now because I work out a lot So I was searching for that model and I couldn't find them anywhere and they're imp oh, they're just impossible so i searched the word fluid ride. I was like, oh, maybe that'll help. Oh, maybe it's the gel nimbus 16 That makes a lot more sense. Okay, well anyways, I ended up buying these ones and they suck. They hurt my feet. It's the same as the other ones, but these are the ones I have right now. So I'm gonna wear them a couple times until I get new ones because the other ones were absolutely killing my feet. So that's just, okay. I'm gonna go to class now. I think my biggest waste of money in life is shitty gym sneakers. <laughs> Cause you don't know if they're good or not until you work out in them a couple times. And at that point it's too late. You can't return them or can you? No, you can't, it's really gross. Bye. So this vlog sucks. <sighs> it was shot over so many days that I don't even, like how many days was this? It was like a week's worth of videos. Just cr <sighs> Oh, by the way, I ended up finding the shoes, the right ones. After I found the Gel Nimbus 16, I was like, that's it. I don't know why every time I've ever tried to look for these shoes, I never thought to look for those ones. But I found them. They don't make the 16s anymore. I found the 17s, which... I read are good. The newest models, actually the 18s are out, but somebody wrote that the front soles aren't as cushioned and I need some cushioning in my front soles. I'm so tired. I have to film and edit my Wednesday video now. I miss Vine. I feel like I'm gonna make a Vine. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna make a Vine. Until then, I still don't have a sign off.